I'm back. If you are wondering where I have been, I decided back in November I was going to take a couple months off from YouTube. I just wanted to focus on my health and recuperate. YouTube is a lot of work and I do work two other jobs, so I just needed a little break. Um, the amount of love and support I've gotten asking where I have been has meant so much to me. So thank you to everyone who has reached out. I am back. I will let you know that I'm cutting YouTube down to only one video a week instead of the two or three that I was doing. Um, I just want to be able to put out the best content and I don't want to have to rush trying to make time to film and edit all of these videos every week. So I just want to commit to one video a week. I hope you guys understand. Um, so for my first video back, I've decided to do a large nail haul. Uh, the last one I did, I believe, was September. So it's been a while. I'm not including any like Christmassy stuff in this video. I thought about it, but I'm like, now that we're kind of past Christmas, I don't think you guys care to see all the Christmassy stuff I got. Um, I think closer to next winter, I will do a video showing all my favorite Christmas stuff. Um, so hopefully you hit that subscribe button so you can stick around and watch out for that video. I know that's you know, far in the future, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and you don't uh, leave this video without hitting that subscribe and like button because it really does help my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, so starting off with Creata Beauty. Um, I am an ambassador for Creata Beauty, in case if you guys didn't know that. Um, I purchase probably 75% of my products from there. They have a huge, huge selection from your basic must-have nail products to nail art. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop shop if you're looking for multiple different things. So starting with kind of the boring stuff, <laughs> I picked up some more packs of my Ellie wipes. Um, if you guys haven't tried these, I know they're a little bit on the higher price side for wipes, but I promise you once you try these, you will never ever go back. They are just so, so amazing. They're are pure lint free they wipe the product off like the dispersion layer off so easily I absolutely love these wipes so much and if you just wait till what the Friday you'll save a few extra bucks off of them so I really highly recommend giving these a try and then I picked up some more of my files now, I have gone through a few packages of these over the last couple months. Um, my go-to is the 180-100, but they were sold out. So this is a 100-100, um, which I will still use, but my favorite is the 180-100. But I love the Creata files, like specifically this shape. I love these. I have been using them for I think about two years maybe two and a half years these are my go-to files I love them they're not super sharp on the edge so you don't have to um, prep them yourself I I don't know they're just really really good quality files and I I don't know I just really really love these so, but like I said normally I get the 100 uh, 100 180 ones but these are what I'm going to use up until they get restocked on the other ones and then 
they have these little sampler kits of all of the different uh, stuff Creator has, like their prep white uh, alcohol. We have some finish wipe. We have some polish remover, um, some bit cleaner. I love their bit cleaner. If you guys are ever looking for a bit cleaner for your bits, <laughs> uh, that one is a great option. Um, what's this one? Oh, and some acetone. So if you are wanting to try out, you could definitely purchase a little pack like this and uh, test some different, uh, different ones out that you're looking for. And then uh, a little tote. How cute is this little created tote? Like it just has like your little handles right here but um when I go to work in the morning I always have my purse and then I throw like a spare pair of shoes and my water bottle and stuff like that and so these little totes come in so handy to just throw that extra stuff in to carry and well Creata has one in case if you were looking for a cute little one um Creata has a lot of branded stuff um, if you're looking for branded stuff from Creata, they have a ton like uh, toques, um, mugs, I can't even think, towels. They have lots of different stuff. So you can definitely go check out that on their website. Okay, now moving into some funner items. I purchased the Valentine's collection from Fusion. You guys, I have gotten so, so much use out of this collection. I honestly, in the years of doing nails, I think I've gotten more use out of this four color collection than I have ever any collection. Whether it was Fusion, Light Elegance, Magic Gel, this collection I have gotten the most use out of. I absolutely love all four colors. I still need to swatch them, you guys. I haven't even swatched them on swatch sticks yet. But, um, I'm just gonna quickly show you. I'm sure you've seen them on my page numerous times, but they are so, so gorgeous. I'm hoping to swatch them today after I'm done filming this. They are absolutely stunning. This glitter is amazing. It's like one coat and it's so pigmented. As I just made a huge mess. <laughs> it's so pretty though. Okay, so those are the Fusion Valentine's colors. I love them so much. If you have not picked yours up, it is a must. And I truly think you can use them for all year round as well. Okay, so sticking with Fusion, I picked up a bunch of extra stuff from them as well. So we'll start off with the more boring ones. Um, so I wanted to give Fusion Base a try. Um, I've been testing it out on a couple of my problem lifters. So if you're curious how it holds up, comment below and I'll let you know. Um, but the Cohesion is the base that I got. And then I got, or like the primer. <laughs> and then I got clear base. I got 2.5 and I got five. Um, I love the consistency of five. I like that little bit of a thicker consistency, but still self levels. So this one is my preferred gel, but I know a lot of people love that more runnier gel. So that's what 2.5 is. So I have been testing that out and then I picked up another jar of my repairs. This is my favorite pink. I use this so often. It's like a really soft, soft, milky pink. Great for baby boomers. And then this one, it was so beautiful in the photos. I needed it. So it's kind of like repairs, but it has a shimmer to it. And I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. I think you can tell better on my nails. See how they're shimmery? That is what this product is. I love it so much. And I've used so much of it already. I'm definitely going to need to buy another pack of it. 
pack or jar of it. <laughs> and then I've picked up another jar of the ivory and the blush. This is a really beautiful baby boomer or French fade combination. So we've got like a milky bright white. And then the blush is a milky pink. These two uh, com com combined uh, is a beautiful French fade baby boomer set. Um, I do use repairs for baby boomers as well. Um, it's just a little less pink than blushes. So if clients want a little bit more of a pinkier tone, then I will use blush. But if they want more of a softer fade, I will use repairs. And then I picked up a few of their paints. So this one, wait till you see this. It is so stunning. How gorgeous is that gold glitter? I love it so, so much. It applies beautifully. I really hope they come out with more golds. I love, love, love this one. And then we got a metal 103. So this one is like a multi-colored silver. Once again, it applies really nicely. So the base of it's silver, but it has so many other colors. So it would go perfectly with anything you pair it with really really pretty and then i picked up this burgundy it is so beautiful <laughs> i fusion has just been on a roll lately everything they've been launching i just love it i can't like i have nothing negative to say this one has like a slight shimmer to it really really beautiful so that's it from Fusion. Then moving in, um, I got sent the new Selena Ryden crystals. I got the crystal ABs. Now, first off, everyone should know who Selena Ryden is. If you don't, you must go check her out. She is absolutely incredible. But she came out with her own brand of stuff, which is called Moon Flare. And she launched a bunch of different things, but we're starting with the crystals. This is what I got. So the, the lid and this little kit, I poured some out so you can see them. And I also have them on my nails. So if you purchase the kit, it comes with your little uh, uh, blinger tool. So you've got the sticky waxy side and then you've got this one comes to an actual point. Some that you see have like a little ball on the edge, but this one comes to an actual point. And it just has her logo. And then it comes with this little mouse pad. So mine's really dusty. Let's see if I can shake it off. Okay, so it is technically a mouse pad, but you pour your crystals on and it just makes it easier to actually pick up. And the lay nice and flat on this mat. Um, I was quite surprised how useful this was. So I personally really like it. If you guys have a mouse pad at home, I would suggest trying it out to pour your diamonds on. Um, I think you'll actually really like it. And then here is the actual crystal. So you get like your little like information about them. So like I said, I already poured some out because I used them on my nails here. And they are the ABs, as I mentioned. And it comes with like the multiple sizes you get. I believe in total there's 1,400 crystals. I think it's like 1,440. Um, I will try and post that just to make sure I'm not mistaken there. But you've got like the 3SS, the 5, the 7, the 9, the 12, and the 16s. 
So that's what they look like. Now, if I'm being really nitpicky, I just hate the packaging. That's, I just really don't like this packaging. Um, for me, I like to keep all of my sizes separately and I am not going to hold on to this packaging. I wish they were like in an individual thing so I can keep them all separated because once you cut, there's no going back. Like they're all going to come out together. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you are someone who likes to put all of your sizes in one jar, then this is no problem because you can just go and cut them and they'll all pour out and you're fine. But for me, I just don't like this packaging. I wish they were individual. That is my only complaint. Um, I do feel like they are a little more... It, maybe just a slight more of a goldy hinge to them, like a more goldy reflect than, say, Swarovski ABs are. I think Swarovski are more silvery of a reflect, whereas I think these ones have a bit more of a gold reflect. Still really pretty, though. And I mean, I've been wearing my nails for only a few days, but they're holding up. I don't see any uh, scrapes on them or anything. They look great. So um, if you are curious, comment below and I will keep you posted on how well they hold up. But so far, so good. All right, so the last thing I picked up recently from Creative Beauty is a bunch of Ugly Duckling stuff. Um, Ugly Duckling is one of my all-time favorite nail brands. I am obsessed with everything they launch, and I really love the owners of Ugly Duckling. They are such amazing, inspiring women. So highly recommend testing out some Ugly Duckling stuff if you haven't already. But the first thing I got, I purchased a couple of my little wax tip heads. They are for the Ugly Duckling Blinger tool. So you have like this little end to dip into your stuff and move the diamonds around. And then you have your little wax head. So you can see this one is really worn out. I change mine every month, I would say. I replace this little wax head. So I really love these so much. Um, if you haven't tried out this blinger tool, highly recommend. And then sticking with the bling, um, this is what I use for the gel to apply the bling. So it's called Stick It. It is honestly the best bling gel out there. It will hold on your little crystals, like the little billion beads. It will hold on those big chunky metal pieces. Like I love this stuff so, so much. If you have not tried this out, I really highly, highly recommend it. Um, I have used this in multiple videos. So if you go through my playlist, you'll see lots of videos where I feature stick it in it. And then I picked up a new product to me. This is called Schmelt It. Um, there is so many cool designs I have seen using this product. This one is specifically the clear, but it also comes in a white and black. If you look on the Ugly Duckling YouTube channel, I will, um, or I'll try and link it in the description bar for you. But if you look, they have some tutorials using this and it, it does the coolest looks. Like if you ever seen those rose nails that are like the spread out roses, you can do that design with this. You can do really cool marble designs. So I'm really excited to give this a try. If I do love the clear, I will probably buy the white and the black as well. And then um, I got in a bunch of the Ugly Duckling gel polishes. So first off, from here, these ones right here are from the 
what was it? Um, it came out in October. It was the Breast Cancer Collection. So like these purples and this nice red. Um, those ones were gifted to me from the fellow Creata Beauty Ambassadors. Um, such amazing women. I will try and link all of their accounts in the description bar below. So if you guys aren't following my fellow Creata Ambassadors, if it's a must. You must. Um, but they knew how badly I wanted this collection and they were so sweet and pitched all in and sent it to me as like a little Christmas gift. Um, one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for me. So I was so happy. Um, and then I purchased a bunch of other colors that have been on my wish list for like since I started Bur uh, purchasing Ugly Duckling and I just decided let's just do it let's go all in I'm gonna purchase all of the colors that I'm missing that I want um I am thinking of doing a little swatch video with me if you guys do want to see all these colors swatched out because I have yet to swatch them I know so bad I have not swatched all of these colors but if you do want a little video of me swatching all of them please comment below and I can definitely do that but yeah for now this is all of the colors that I have gotten in, which I believe is 20. Um, yeah, so I personally love Ugly Duckling. If you guys haven't tried them, I really do recommend their products. They're, they never disappoint me. That's the great thing with Ugly Duckling. They just never disappoint me. Okay, moving into Glitter Boutique Canada. Um, this company is run by Rhonda. She is so amazing. I absolutely adore her. Um, she is a Canadian small business. So if you are looking for some amazing, amazing glitter mixes from ultra fine to really chunky, chunky glitters, she has absolutely everything. And I love how her her website is laid out. It's super easy to find any kind of glitter you're looking for. So I got sent a bunch of these beautiful Valentine's ones. So I'm just going to show you them spilt out in a little jar. This one is my favorite. I'll insert a photo. I used it on my bestie. Um, this one is called Soulmate. It is so, so beautiful. It's got like iridescent glitters in there. And then it's got some red lips, some pink iridescent hearts. It's got these beautiful gold little, little chunkies that have like, I don't like, it looks like they're embroidered. Like they have this weird texture, not weird as in bad, but like really cool neat texture I don't know what to call it. it looks like punched I don't know but like I can I can't stop staring at this one it's so so beautiful and it also has some bigger size pink hearts in there as well next is called can't help falling in love super pretty mix. Next is Always and Forever. This is a really beautiful lavender pink mix. Next is Heaven Sent Love. Next is Hopeless Romantic. I love, love, love the coral in this glitter mix. This coral is so eye-catching and it's like little Mickey heads. How cute. And then the hearts have that same effect to it. Like how cool does that look?
Next is All You Need Is Love. Next is My True Love. Love and Kisses is next. This one is a whole bunch of lips and some little hearts. Happily Ever After is next. This one is such a fun blue. Next is Love You More. This is your like soft, dainty little heart glitter. First Crush is another soft, kind of soft and bright at the same time. It's got these really light pastel iridescent pinks, but then it's got a pop of this bright yellow. Next is Prisoner of Love. Next is Love Me Tender. And the last one is called Sweet Sweet Love. Look how beautiful this heart is. I am obsessed with the color of this heart. It is like, it, it looks like it could glow in the dark. It's so bright. I don't even think my camera is honestly doing it justice. It is so cool. Like, look at that. It's so bright. But yeah. That is it for all my mixes from Glitter Boutique Canada. Once again, go check out the website. They have tons of glitters and lots of other nail fun goodies on there as well. And my discount code will be in the description bar below. Next, we're moving into Glitter Mix Canada. This is another Canadian company. They're actually local to where I live, so it's super easy to go pick up from them. Um, it is run by Suki. This place has so much variety when it comes to nail art stuff. They have everything from stickers, 3D stuff, foils, uh, glitter, like everything you can think of this company has, and they're bringing more and more unique stuff in, um, which starts with this. So they are making these beautiful handmade um, scrunchies, and they were kind enough to gift this one to me. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love gold. So if you know me, I am more of a warm tone lover. I love gold and rose gold over like silver. <laughs> and when I saw this champagne gold, I just thought it was so stunning. And it's kind of like this snake print material. And it's so soft. It feels amazing. And it's got this little GMC logo on it. I'm just going to take this off so I can show you how scrunchy it is. It's got a really good size. So if you have a massive amount of hair like me, this one should definitely hold your hair. It feels like a really strong band in there too. That is so nice. Hopefully 
I'm uh, doing this justice. <laughs> I know you guys can't feel it yourself, but it does feel like a really strong band. Oh, this feels so nice. I can't wait to wear it. I'll make sure to take a little selfie whenever I do wear this in my hair so you guys can see how cute it is. Next, I picked up some glitters. When I saw her post this one on Instagram, I was like, I need that right now. <laughs> so this one is called Ooh La La. And oh, also they sell these things if... Um, you're looking for them. I use these all the time. Oh, it's so stunning. Next, I picked up Lily Lavender. It was just these muted purple hearts. Next is Fantasy. This was another one that just caught my eye. There's so much going on in this glitter. Next is All Wrapped Up. I saw her post this one as well and knew I needed it. It's so pretty. Okay, next is Under the Christmas Tree. Yes, this is technically a Christmas glitter but I still needed it. When I was scrolling through the website, I wish I had this at Christmas time. It's so beautiful. Next is Glamorous. Last for the glitters is Fairy Wings. Moving on, we have some stickers. So I saw this and knew I needed it. It has a bunch of Tinkerbell stickers on here love them so much. Um, I am a huge Disney fan if you didn't know that about me and Tinkerbell is my favorite Disney character um, alongside Stitch from Lilo and Stitch but I saw these I needed them and then we've got some hearts and some lips like how cute is that little nail polish bottle? So fun. And then we've got a bunch of lips again. Tons of different stuff on here. And then this one's so pretty. It's like these gold, they, they feel a little raised. Not too much, like I don't think they would add bulk to your nail, but they, they aren't completely flat. But, oh, I love this. Like, how cool is that? Next, I picked up some billion beads or caviar beads, whatever you call them. I love these bright gold ones. Then I got some foils. I love these foils. They're so easy just to rip apart and insert them in the nail. It gives some really, really cool looks. And this one is so pretty. It has like different coppers, different ones of gold that have like reflex of different colors. Okay, the last two things I picked up, I got one of these um, palettes, mixing palettes. 
This one is a beautiful mossy green. It's so nice and smooth. Got a little gold trim. And once again, green and gold are like my favorite favorite combination. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I couldn't wait to have it. So obviously I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times. They're just little mixing palettes if you're mixing colors together to create your own combination. And then the very last thing I ordered was these, um, this rhinestone remover. So it's not nail clippers. But, like, look how intense these guys are. Like, I thought they were a really cool shape, the way they are shaped. I think it would be really easy to get into some of these harder crystals to get off. Um, I'm just going to compare them to uh, cuticle nippers. So, as you can see, they are way, way different than cuticle nippers. These are my light elegance ones. So that is everything I got from Glitter Mix Canada. I will put my discount code in the description bar below. Moving into Canada Nail Supplies, I went nuts and bought a whole bunch of Ugly Duckling Crystals. These are called their Clear as Mud Crystals. I wanted a little variety of different colors they offer. Um, and now I'm sure all of you know that Swarovski is no longer making nail crystals. So I'm trying to find great alternatives, um, alternatives to their crystals. And Ugly Duckling is not disappointing. I had some of their AB crystals and some of their just the clear crystals like this one. I love them so much. So that's kind of why I also bought so many more packs because I do believe they stand up to Swarovski. And then I bought a bunch of the ABs. So you can see they are super sparkly. And then I got some of these beautiful gold ones. And then this was a new color for me. This one is called Champagne. And then I needed lots of these ones. These are like these opal pink ones. What are they actually called? Rose opal. So got lots of these ones to stock up because I think these are gonna be so pretty for spring. Next, I picked up some of the Moira stamping polishes. 99% of the time, I use Clear Jelly Stamper, but I saw they posted a bunch, a bunch of colors in the Moira ones, and I wanted to give them a try because they had a rose gold. So I saw this one and I felt like I needed it. <laughs> and then I also picked up this beautiful gold. Here is the difference between them. This one is definitely more of like a white gold. This one is 24. And then I got a green, of course I got a green. It's 14. I got this really pretty metallic-y purple. I thought this would be really cool for designs. This one's 28. And then here's like a nice muted medium pink. I think this will be really nice for flower nails, floral nails. This one's number one. Here's another metallic-y blue. This is 26. Got a yellow, number 12. Now, this is the only one I'm sadly disappointed in. Um, it says neon red. Online, it looks red. Like it looks like a bright, bright red. But as you can see, this is orange. 
This is like a I, one of those pylons you see in the street. That is this kind of orange. I have tested a couple of these out and they work really well. I tested out the blue and I tested out the gold and I love them. They dry instantly. Um, they applied really nicely to the nail. They're very vibrant. So I'm quite happy with the quality of the ones I've used so far and honestly I'm tempted to buy more. Next I picked up a new CJS stamper. This is their little stubby one. I think it's so cute. So you take off the top and the bottom and it is so small but it's like the large size. So I think it's really easy to see exactly where you're stamping because it's so short. I feel like you just get to the nail quicker. Then I got these beautiful striping tapes. I believe they're called like mermaid striping tape. They're like iridescent. I don't know if you can tell. Let me try and open this green one here. It's so pretty. So I got a green a purple and this pinky corally kind of color. Okay, next is some bits. I got an Erica's bit. I love this one. This is called the small barrel medium. I love this after you've uh, applied your gel and you want to do like your finish shaping. This is my go-to one. So it is just, it smooths out the nail. It's perfect for getting right underneath the nail to make it a nice C curve under there. I love it. It just applies so nicely across the nail. Hopefully that makes sense. But I also, so I have a few of these. This is a new one. And then I also wanted to test out this one. Um, I don't know if they're, oh, it's from Opre. And it says straight cut M gold. So this one's a bigger size guy. Hoi, he's like most of my nail. It looks really nice though. It feels quite like similar to this one. So I think it's going to do a good job, but I don't know if I'll be able to get underneath the nail as well. And then you guys, I know this is like the most random thing, but I love it so much. I normally just use those cheap little brushes to really um, get off the dust off my a uh, nail bit, but this thing, it has been such a game changer. So what I personally do for disinfecting my bits, I will um, first wash them with this brush. So I put some soap on this brush and I scrub them. I give it a really good scrub and it really takes down all of the dust that's in there. And then I soak them with a proper bit cleaner. So that's what I personally do, but I love this brush. So a couple more things from Ugly Duckling. I picked up some more of their striping brushes. This, this one is my favorite. And then this one is even longer, way more longer than this one. <laughs> so these for like the long, long striping brushes, these ones are my favorite. These are called the, oh, sorry, I got a frog in my throat. These ones are called the student brushes. So they're not like the fancy ones, like these guys with the bling in them. So these are just like this like pearl, uh, brush head on them. So they're a lot more inexpensive. And then I picked up a bunch of billion beads. I really wanted to try these out from Ugly Duckling. I tend to buy cheaper uh, billion beads off like eBay or I, I love the ones from Glitter Mix Canada. Um, but these ones were, I, I really like the size that they have. So they come in 
uh, three different sizes. Yeah. So you've got like the biggest one right here. Then you've got like a medium and then you've got your smaller ones right here. Where is the ones with Glitter Mix Canada? They have like really big ones, which I would never use. So I really like that these ones, I actually feel like I could use all three sizes. So I don't go through rose gold ones too often, and I still have some rose gold ones that I've ordered previously. So I just got one pack of the rose gold, and then I got two packs of the gold ones, and then I got three packs of the silver. Okay, so lastly, I picked up some templates. Some of these are for Christmas. These two came out at Christmas time. I don't know why I didn't buy them. I should have, but I decided not to. And now I'm kicking myself because they are so pretty. I really love these three snowflakes so much. Here's the code. And then that one's the code for this one. And then I picked up this guy because Green Month St. Patrick's Day is coming up next month for March. And that is what that one is. So it has a bunch of these um, four leaf clovers. And then here is another Christmas one, which sadly I did not have in time for this winter but i am so excited to get to use it next winter it does have some leopard print so i probably could use the leopard print all year round i don't need to just wait to use this one till christmas but or even the plaid i think this is so cute it has like little gnomes some deer some trees i'm not sure about this truck I don't like the truck, but if you like the truck, <laughs> this one will be perfect for you. Then this guy, this one is a Valentine's one. Sorry, I should have took it out of the package. So I have already used this one. So it has some lips, some more plaid on there. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. I'm so happy I have it. Like, look how cute this leopard heart is. Now, this one's a little different. It came with this, like, clear thing. I've never seen CJS do that. I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, a sample for us to put it on our nail to see if we like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else, like, it's for, except to maybe test to see if you like the design. I'm not sure, but yeah. I don't know if all of the new ones come with this thing. Like these, these didn't. So I'm not sure if this like is a new thing going forward, but if you know what this is for, please comment below. I'd love to, I'd love to know. But that is it from Canada Nail Supplies. All right, last I purchased a couple things from Purple Beauty Supplies. I saw they had some crystals, so I wanted to give a couple colors a try. I picked up these gold ones, and I do apologize, I have no clue what they're called, but from what I could tell, it was the only color of gold that they had. Um, now I am, all the ones that I am testing, I'm going to put into these little drawers right here. I got this from Glitter Mix Canada and I'll just show you, I poured some of them into this little drawer right here. So it is a really pretty goldish color. I would say this like is a medium gold and it's very comparable to gold shadow from Swarovski. That is what I think it's comparable to. Now, I don't know how well they hold up because I haven't tested them yet. So if you want an update on these, please let me know in the comments below. 
First off, I'm going to complain about the packaging. I hate this packaging. It is my least favorite packaging for crystals. Um, I've been seeing this more and more now. I just, I hate this packaging so much. But the other color I picked up was these really cool gold, or gold, <laughs> They're not gold they're green and blue I'm just trying to take them out here so I have not opened this yet um, but they are this like really pretty gold or why do I keep saying gold I'm sorry <laughs> green slash blue now I mean they kind of do have a gold reflect to them so Maybe I'm not completely wrong there, but I feel like they match my sweater really nicely. How pretty is that? But I thought they were really unique and cool. I don't have anything like this combination, so I knew I wanted to pick up this pack. But um, yeah, like I said, I haven't tested them out, but if you want to update, please let me know in the comments below. And oh, they do have a bunch of different ones. I think there was maybe like 15 to 20 different options on their uh, website. But the this one and the gold one are the two that I picked up. And then I sold them out on my orange buffers. You guys, I know so many of you told me that um, I could purchase these from somewhere else. And now I can't remember. And I sold Purple Beauty out on them. I purchased like... I think they had like 97 left and I bought them all. Um, I love these orange buffers. They're my favorite. Um, I love the grit of them. I love the size. I actually use one per client. So one side of it I use for one hand, like one hand, and then I flip it over and I use the other side for the other hand. So I do go through these quite quickly. Um, but personally, I just love these orange buffers. I have tried so many other buffers on the market, like the purple, the white, the pink. I've tried the smaller orange ones. Don't like them. Um, these ones are just my favorite. <laughs> So if you know any place that still has these orange buffers in stock, please let me know. I've tried even Amazon and eBay and I can't find them on there. So yeah, they're my favorite. All right, and that is it for this nail haul video. If you guys managed to stick around to the end of this video, please comment below and give me a thumbs up. I would love to see how many of you guys actually stuck around for this long nail haul. I tried to shorten it down as much as I could, but thank you guys for all your love and support. It really, truly means everything to me. And once again, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!